So I'm moving my hives out this morning and you know I'm looking at quite a few hives that are looking nice but I can't help to wonder I mean I look at these colonies here obviously healthy clean fronts on them but what's the difference between those and the colony like this so you have a colony to the one side that is big and strong and no dysentery but this colony here is falling victim to some kind of gut disease we push our hives right to the limit uh, these these bees were developed in August and they haven't flown since October. I put them away in November and we are just getting them out. This is the first time they've seen sun since November. So we, we have these hives in confinement. Um, we're really pushing the boundaries on what these bees can actually endure. We need as beekeepers um, a way to be able to, when we identify these hives, we have to be able to manage them. We have to be able to treat them. We have to be able to cure whatever problems going inside that colony. Right now we have nothing. We have very little. We have what I call snake oil. You know, feel good treatments. Manitoba beekeepers need help to be able to diagnose situations like this and then treat it to cure it. And whether it be a, a, a preventative treatment type treatment or, you know, we could treat them as we find them. I would do that. I would pay four dollars to be able to inoculate this colony just to solve whatever gut issue has going on inside. There's a lot of variables that we have to consider, but we have to be able to build more tools within our toolbox to be able to treat sick hives like this. But that colony, when it you know gets out and starts developing, I can almost guarantee that it's going to be much better off than this colony here. This one's going to struggle a little bit, especially if we have conditions that fall on us that are uh, challenging like we typically have in Manitoba. Manitoba beekeepers need to be able to treat situations like this to be able to keep our apiary alive and well. Like I'm a cattle producer and I believe in healthy gut makes for a healthy animal and when we we spend a lot of time trying to protect our stock keeping their guts clean keeping their their health adequate and we have to do the same with our beehives now too. We find a sick calf, we go and we have multiple treatments that we can access to be able to not only prevent an infection from happening within the animal's gut, but to treat it when we find it. And we need the same as, as beekeepers. And as a Manitoba beekeeper, we need to be able to take samples of bees like this and get them diagnosed, figure out what the hell's going on in there, and then we need to be able to have treatment options to be able to solve the issue, right? If we're going to manage our hives in these extreme conditions, we're going to push these hives right to the brink of what they can endure. We need to be able to develop tools or assistance or some kind of support system to be able to help get these colonies through and keep our apiary healthy and alive. 